My Fusilier adventure began as an 18 year old. At the time, I was a pony lad walking down Bates's Colliery in Blythe. My pit pony was called Dane and he lived in the stables underground about a mile from the pit shaft. I would pick him up and I would walk him a further three miles into the mine to my place of work. After the shift, I was supposed to walk Dane back to the stables, but to tell you the truth, the pony could smell the stables and it was a nightmare controlling them and walking them back three miles, which took about an hour. So the majority of the time, I would ride Dane back to the stables. And unfortunately, I've been caught twice for doing so. And I was on my last warning. And one Friday night, uh, I was riding him back to the stables and I was caught by the safety officer. And he stopped me and he said in a large voice, Bosta, manager's office on Monday. I thought, oh, that's it. I've got the sack. So I went home and then went out that night and told my friends what had happened. And one of my friends, who you call John Rice, he said he was going to Newcastle the next day to join the army. And I thought, well, if I'm going to get the sack, I'm going to go with him. And I had a chat with my best friend, Robin Smith, and he decided to come with me. When we got to the recruiting office, we had our medical and we sat an educational test. And then when it was all over, we were called into an office where there was a recruiting sergeant. His name was Mick Goodyear. And this guy, Mick Goodyear, ended up being my sergeant major in Aden. And he was a really cracking guy, a very, very proud Northumberland Fusilier. But at the time when I was in the recruiting office, I hadn't, not, not one of us had a clue what regiment was what, to be honest with you. He eventually said to my best mate, a new lad can join the Remy, which is the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers. He said to me, you can join the Royal Engineers. Then he said, to my friend, John Rice. You lad, and you can join your county regiment. So we turned to the recruiting sergeant and said, why can't we join our county regiment? And he said, of course you can, sign here. Not realizing at that point that we had done better at the, at the tests and therefore, we were automatically given the choice of going to the Remy or the Royal Engineers. I had no idea what my county regiment was, to be perfectly honest. I was just proud to be a Northumbrian. Anyway, after we assigned, the recruiting sergeant then stood up. He then put on his berry and hackle, a berry with a red and white hackle. And I had no idea what that was at that time. And he said, you guys should be proud because you're now Royal Northumberland Fusiliers. And though I'd been conned into joining the Northumberland Fusiliers, to be perfectly honest, it's the best thing that could have happened to me because I've served in the Fusilier uniform for 41 years and loved it, and I wouldn't change any of it.